across to Cook. Ooh, with a juke. Cook with a first down and much more. That's good for 21 yards on a first down. One thing's for sure, this defense has to figure out how to stop the ground game. He's eating them up here in the first quarter. It looks like they have to go to different forces, aren't they? The conventional things aren't working too well. So I remember a coach of mine saying way back when, when a back's having a great game, you have gotta get the ball out of his hands. See how far he can run without the ball. And what he meant was takeaways, not get loose, because maybe you can't just stop him with just regular tackling. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. And let's pin the mirrors back and go full strength. It's Cousins on the sneak. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Cousins to throw it this time. And that's going to be knocked away in the end zone. It's incomplete. The linebacker Bobby Wagner able to get back in coverage and knock it free. The Seattle defense, they haven't broken yet. Coming up here on a third and goal situation. No gain on the play, and what to do now on fourth and goal. Tried to give it to the first man through on third and goal, denied. Yeah, how about how they sold out on that play? Just decided, we know what you're going to do. You're going to bring it at us in a running game. And they had everyone tracking the football. Didn't let him throw. So a good snap, good hold, and right down the middle. Never in doubt. Just the way you used to hit them, partner. You mean like uh, kicking the ball? Exactly. Well, that was in high school. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't care what level. You hit them, they go through. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Let's go. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. A good job by their defense, though. They held them to three, but this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what happened. You think there. that factored in? I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game, that I'm going to be aggressive on all and all Touchdown, Seattle. Tyler Lockett, 74 yards as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. And nothing too crazy there. A quick slant, and then he just had a seam. He found a seam. And when you hit it on the run like that, and I mean the pass right to the receiver who's already in motion and moving, Sometimes he just takes it and runs away from everyone else. And he ran it into the end zone. And the defense, they've got to adjust there quickly. That's tough on them. That's really tough because everything was executed well. Ball was out of his hands quickly, into the hands of the receiver, and then he was gone. So they touched it before it went 10, and that's obviously not going to help their comeback bid here in the fourth. No, not at all. And they're trying to get something going, going after one there. But you've got to give yourself a chance. Let it go 10 before you touch it. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. On second down now, it's Cook. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Cousins gives way to Cook. And it is still early, just the first quarter. But you start prorating the numbers, and we might be in for some history. I mean, that last run puts him over 100 yards already. And we've still got three quarters to go. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. On second down, this is Madison. He pushes forward for maybe three down to the six-yard line. The tackle made at the six-yard line. 
10-6 the score after one right here on EA Sports. Third and goal for Cousins. And the pressure too much that time as Cousins goes down. Third and goal, they decided to throw for it, but how about the play defensively? Couldn't find anyone open. Left him nowhere to go with the football. Had to absorb the sack. And Bailey able to knock it through. And that'll open the lead up to a touchdown now at 13 to six. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. A touchdown would tie it. They trail 13-6 as they come up with a first and 10. They go over the middle, and it's complete to start the drive. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. It's a gain of 12 first down Seahawks. From the shotgun, Wilson. It's complete to lock it. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Looking to throw again on second down. Wilson flush to his right. And yeah, he's going to keep it here. The rushing numbers for Wilson may be down from earlier in his career, but he's still a threat to go, showing it there, picking up the first down. Well, throw on first down with Wilson. It's caught. Lock it. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Ten yards and a Seattle first down. On first down, Wilson. They'll lock it with a grab over the middle. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Throwing again on second down. Wilson firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll go down at the 28. Wilson going to lead his guys up first and 10. And he's hit on all five of his pass attempts on this drive so far. This throw complete. Wilson finding Lockett. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 11 yards there and a first down for Seattle. Let's go, B. Let's go. Let's get there. Under 10. Under 10. From the red zone now, here's Wilson on first down. This will be caught at about the five. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. They'll run for it with Lynch. And he's across the chalk into the end zone. Touchdown, Seahawks. Taking it in from a yard out as they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. Pete Carroll in that familiar hands-on knees pose. His guys will go for two here. Now it's Wilson. And that is caught for the two points. And I guess that makes up for the earlier missed two-point try here to get him to 14. Yeah, that aggressiveness it reminds me a lot of when basketball first adopted the three-point shot. People were starting to realize that three for two was really starting to work for them. In this case now, maybe the two for one is coming into play in the NFL. A second quarter onside kick there that failed. Is that something that maybe they had dialed up before this game started? It feels like it, doesn't it? That they thought they had the right situation, you know, and, and the right approach in going after it. Also may signal that they feel like they have the superior team, that they can try these sorts of things and it won't come back and hurt them later. Now a give running right, it's Cook. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 17 yards, first down, Vikings. Following the good run by Cook, here's another first and 10. First and 10 at the 18 yard line. Switch, switch. Where's the hot hot? 
No gain on the dump off. It's second down. A tenth carry in the game for Cook. Shrugs him off. And he gets it down close to the 10-yard line. That second down run, a big help. The seven yards leaves him with just a third and three now. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five at the four. It's a gain of six as they're able to convert, and now it's first and goal. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Kirchman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. The second down play, not much better than the first, just a gain of one there. Here is Cook on third and goal. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. Fourth down now after a loss of two. Let's think here. You're still just in the second quarter. You taking the three-point? Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. The fake field goal catches everyone by surprise. And the Vikings are going to retake the lead. Now, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Extra point up and good by Bailey. And that'll make this a six-point game. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signal for and take it. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And now the clock reads precisely one minute to go in the half. You want to run the one-minute offense? This nowhere to escape, and he goes down. There for the sack, Everson Griffin. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. That one going to be complete to David Moore. They do get 18, but even that won't be quite enough. It's fourth down. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This will be fielded at the eight. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They're down here, but very much in this game. What's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. Second and ten. It's Wilson again. He finds an opening past the 40. Going back to Moore. This time he's got him complete. 22 yards there. A first down. First down. The run with Lynch. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two there. Bringing up second down. Thank you.
ンション。